What's up guys? Welcome back to Wrench Avengers. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make an actual 50-50 mix of water and methanol. So basically, when you're mixing water and methanol uh, for methanol injection, your percentage doesn't matter unless you want it to matter, I guess. So the thing is you can run just straight water in your injection system if you want. It's not as efficient, it doesn't work as well, but you can do it and it works just fine. Just so long as whenever you tune it, you tune it for just straight water. Now, if you tune it for a certain percentage of methanol, you wanna make sure to use that same amount every time uh, and make sure you have it for that proper amount. Because uh, otherwise, you know, you're going to lean out or be too rich whenever you uh, actually spray it. So, uh, be sure to get your mixture the way that you want it. I personally want to run about 50-50% mixture. Um, now, that sounds easy. Hey, dump in half methanol, half water, and you're good to go. Well, not really. That's volume. Um, you have to make sure to mix water and methanol by weight. Uh, water is actually more dense and heavier than methanol, so you have to run more methanol than you do water to get a true 50-50 uh, uh, mixture. So what you actually do is run about 44% water and 56% methanol. So whenever it comes to getting your water methanol mixture, there's a bunch of ways to do it. You can buy things like Snow Performance Boost Juice, which is pretty expensive, like what I was saying was like $35 for a gallon. Um, that's a 50-50 mixture, but that's a little pricey. Then you add on, uh, you know, shipping and handling onto that. It's, it's pretty high. So you can also buy just straight methanol and mix it with water. Uh, don't use tap water, uh, but you can mix it with straight water uh, and get your mixture that way. Um, and you can just weigh it and do it by weight, literally, and it'll, be, it'll work just fine. Uh, the problem with that, what I was finding anyway, it might be different in your area, so you might check. Um, you, I, could, I couldn't find it anywhere at the speed shops near me. Um, I didn't look real hard either, but it's fine. Anyway, so anywhere online, it was about $35 for a five gallon bucket, which is a great price, but then you add on shipping to that. And it's a little bit more expensive because methanol is considered a hazardous material in my state, at least. I'd assume probably other states as well. And so uh, ended up being about $134 to ship it to me for five gallons. Then you add another, you know, five gallons of water, makes 10 gallons, about 13 ish dollars a gallon. Um, whenever you're all said and done. So still a little bit pricey. What I've come up with is a way to get it from just about anywhere and uh, it's a 50-50 mixture is about you know, 10, 11 dollars a gallon. So <clears throat> here's how you do it. It is done with, you guessed it, windshield washer fluid and heat. So basically, Windshield washer fluid, you have to get particular types. Check out the MSDS, which I guess is, I was informed that it is now just SDS, not MSDS sheets. Uh, so you want to get check those MSDS sheets and that will, that will tell you the information on these. I will tell you and I'll leave a link in the description even to these. This is negative 20 AutoZone's brand, negative 20. Most negative 20s are going to be about 33% methanol and that is by weight according to the MSDS sheet. So 33% by weight, and then the rest would be water and probably some kind of blue dye of some sort would be my guess. So be sure to check the MSDS sheets for your different uh, water to methanol ratios inside of your uh, windshield washer fluid. Make sure you don't get like the debug or the stuff that's green or yellow or anything like that. All of that stuff has like a detergent in it and you don't want to be spraying that through your engine. If you want to run 33% methanol, great. Go ahead and just dump this in, go run it, tune it on it, perfect, run it every time. It's like two and a half dollars, three dollars or something like that for this bottle, for one gallon bottle. If you want to run a 50-50 mixture, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to add heat to it. Now there's, you're going to need to add quite a bit to it, um, and that's why it raises the price from 250 to, you know, 11 or so dollars per gallon. So heat is about 97% methanol, you can check that on their MSDS sheet. Um, the other 3% is probably, my guess would be actually water or um, some other bleh, garbage, gra gravel, who knows, I don't know. Uh, but, but it's 97%, you can call it 100% if you want. 
close enough for my measurements. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna get a container, something like, you know, this. Two gallons is gonna be about how much you're gonna want if you're doing my exact mixture here. Start by dumping in your windshield washer fluid and then we will dump in heat. We actually will need six 12 ounce bottles of heat. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So we need six bottles of heat um, to every one gallon of this. That's gonna make our mixture about 44% uh, water and 56% methanol by weight. I'll leave a link in the description. There's a spreadsheet out there that you can find, uh, and, and I'll put it in the link, uh, that will tell you different percentages, and it's kind of a calculator for all this. Um, I actually ended up calculating all this out before I, uh, before I found that calculator, but that's neither here nor there. So I'll, I'll let you guys get a hold of that calculator and make your life a lot easier when calculating this based on just using regular items from you know, your auto parts stores. Um, it keeps it pretty cheap. Like I said, it's about $11 a ga uh, for a gallon. This makes about a gallon and a half. And so, you know, good, good to go there. That's why I say you need a two gallon container because we're gonna make a gallon and a half. We'll go ahead and dump this in. So there's our windshield washer fluid. Like I said, you can just run that if you want. You can run any mixture between them. If you don't want to run a full 50-50, if you want to run full methanol, you can do that. If you want to run, uh, you know, the water and alcohol, you can do that. It doesn't matter. You can make whatever mixture if you don't want 50-50, if you want 30, if you want 40. It doesn't matter what percentage. Just do the math on it and figure out how many bottles of heat you're going to need to make that happen. Why can't I open this bastard? because I'm a child apparently. And so basically we'll just start dumping in the heat and that'll, uh, that'll get us what we need. So that's pretty much it for this video guys. I appreciate you guys sticking around, checking it out. I hope it helps you guys out for, your, for anybody who's gonna be running water methanol injection. It, Doing this math certainly helped me out, makes it easy. I can go anywhere. I don't have to have special race gas or anything. I can go anywhere and purchase this. Um, you know, any auto parts store, or at least anywhere, auto parts store near me. Um, go anywhere and purchase it. It's a little bit on the pricey side because, you know, it's still over $10 a gallon. Um, but they're right at $10 a gallon or so. But it's still relatively cheap, it's easy to get a hold of. So I like it. Uh, guys, go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Give it a thumbs down if you disliked it. Uh, leave a comment if you'd like. See, tell me what uh, what kind of water methanol injection you use. What percentage of water to methanol do you use? Uh, let me know in the comments below. Also, go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you'd like. And uh, stay tuned for more content similar to this or uh, build vlogs elsewhere on my channel. Thanks, guys.